canine companion, Gus, to help him complete the race. NBC's Kristen. A time when people in pusher and wheelchairs weren't able to compete, a time when blind people weren't able to compete, and now there's a chance for people guided by their dogs to compete. And I think that's very special to be inclusive of anyone with a disability. We're going to hear more about his mission to help other vision impaired runners. That's coming up tonight on NBC Nightly News starting at 7. And you go, Gus. Looking forward to seeing that. For a kid, a bike is everything. Today, a Fairfax boy with special needs got one made just for him. News 4's Drew Wilder was there when he got to see it for the first time. Seven-year-old Caleb Elston was given a brand new bike Tuesday. Always a huge moment for kids and their parents. It's like a developmental milestone riding a bike. And normally right now I'd show you Caleb riding his brand new bike, but that didn't happen and it might not for a while. Okay. Okay. Can we try? Caleb was born with autism and a disease called tuberous sclerosis complex. His body develops tumors on his heart, his brain, and his skin. Raising a child with special needs is a lot for parents and siblings, and it really hit mom one day when Caleb's sister came home with an invitation to a birthday party. And she immediately looked at me with her filled eyes and said, Mom, will Caleb ever be invited to a birthday party? Can you even imagine having to answer that? There are some things Caleb's sisters can do that he won't be able to, but riding a bike is not on that list. The Safeway Foundation and non for profit group Preston's March for Energy custom built this bike just for Caleb. He'll get that developmental milestone that his sisters had once. And immediately, right, like their whole face lights up, like, look what I can do. And Caleb can too in time. One, two. It started Tuesday with a count to ten. Nine, ten, ten. Good job. What do you say? And one day, he'll learn to ride it, maybe even to one of the birthday parties mom says he's been invited to, much to the delight of his sister. In Fairfax County, Drew Wilder, News 4. That's so great to see. All right, well, Doug. We Blue have skies. a beautiful day, yeah, and it looks like a good week. Uh, you know what? Yeah, a little spring-like over yeah. the next couple of days, and that's we'll not a bad thing. We'll, take that. we'll yeah. take that for sure. After a high temperature today, so far 53. Average is 54, so we missed average by that much. Next couple of days, though, going well above average. Out there right now, uh, looking at a pretty good afternoon here. Uh, we're looking at temperatures that are currently in the upper 40s to low 50s. 53 degrees right now at the airport, okay. dropping into the uh, 50s and into the 40s by around 9, 10, 11 o'clock, down to about 43 to 11. Going to be a chilly night tonight with clear skies. We do have some cooler air in place, so it is going to be a little bit on the cooler side as you make your way out and about this evening. 48 right now in Gaithersburg, 51 right now at Dulles, uh, 55 right now at Warrington. So tomorrow, expect about uh, 5 degrees difference, so up to 58, 59 D.C., maybe up to 58 over towards Manassas, into the mid-50s, even up towards Gaithersburg. Looking good there. Uh, nothing on the radar in our area. We're waiting for a storm that's way back toward the West. Not here. It's actually this storm right here, which is in the southwest portion of the country. A tornado watch in effect for parts of New Mexico and Texas. Blizzard warnings from Denver towards Bismarck. This storm system will move our way just in time for Friday. Now, we are not expecting a big storm here. However, we are expecting some showers and maybe a rumble of thunder or two with a little bit more on what we can expect from that storm. Amelia, it's a couple of days off, but right now, and this is a good thing. It's the only thing on our radar. Yeah, absolutely. And quite literally. So here's what you can expect on Friday. It's still going to be a mild day out there. Temperatures running above normal. Like Doug was saying, we're going to be in the 60s to near 70 degrees on Friday. Our normal now 54 and rain is likely, but we're going to have some dry time too. It's not looking like a washout of the day. A cold front moving through could maybe though touch off a rumble of thunder, especially it moves if it moves through a little bit later in the day. So something we'll be monitoring. But even if that does happen, we're really not too concerned about any severe weather. But right now, it looks like the best chance for rain is going to be during the morning and midday hours. Here's future weather, 5 a.m. Potentially some showers already out there. That morning commute on Friday could be impacted by rain as we move toward lunchtime. That area of rain already starting to push off toward the east with our Friday night likely looking dry out there and completely dry for the weekend. So some great news there. It is going to be breezy out there on Friday with that rain and on Saturday as 